Helping people living with HIV or AIDS get back to work is not a one-person job. Dylan or JD. Improving employment for any marginalized community. Chief of Staff. Does require a collective effort. Office of Disability Employment It Policy requires the all the people that touch that person to really work together. It requires the service providers themselves to be thinking about employment in any way that they can. And then connecting to those service providers or organizations, systems that may be around them to help that individual be employed. By linking arms with supportive partners in your area, you will discover new opportunities for your clients and your agency. Brett Andrews, Executive Director of Positive Research. Partnerships are, are crucially important for not just the client's point of view, uh, and for the client's perspective and benefit, but for service providers because we often get very tunnel vision with them. And funding can do that. Funding that is siloed can have you provide services just within the scope of that funding. Uh, looking for partnerships, and this has been a movement for nonprofits for quite some time, have challenged themselves to have a full understanding of what their network of service providers are because you never want to lose anyone to care. You, wanna, you never want to lose anyone to contact. So the referral system is rich, it's strong. Uh, Catholic Charities is one, the AIDS Emergency Fund who provides short-term uh, financial assistance for people who need to pay their utility bills. They, we quickly send folks over there to take care of their immediate financial needs. They send us their clients back so that we can take care of their longer-term financial and health care needs. So it really is about having an ongoing understanding of what out, is out there in the community to make sure that you can accurately refer your client to uh, the next service provider that can address whatever is in front of them that very well could be the barrier to their employment. The first step in this effort can be remarkably simple. So many of the things that service providers can do today do not require any funding. They just require conversations um, or sometimes they just adding something to a form that asks somebody a question. Sometimes if, if people are doing an intake process and they're not asked the question, were you formally employed? Are you interested in employment? What do you need? What, what do you want? What are, your, what are your future goals in this area? 